Good morning, all you YouTubers. It is one day before my birthday. Yay! Unfortunately, I'm not going to have an epic birthday party this year. Next year, I am going to have one heck of a birthday party. And I'm going to be videoing it. Yay! So, today, I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a computer without the case. So, let's get started. Flip the screen. And... Let's take a look at what we have today. We have a couple of hard drives here. One is a one is a Toshiba hard disk DT01 ACA100. Now the second one. A Western Digital 320 gigabyte heart. Was it? Let's see. Western Digital 300 gigabyte hard drive. I keep thinking it's a 320 gig. But it is a Western Digital WD 3200 300 gigabyte hard drive. This is. Yeah, that sounded too. And it's several years old. How impressive is that? I expected IDE on that thing when I first took it out of my grandma's computer. Don't forget the typical SATA cables to hook everything up. And a uh, standard Asus SATA CD problem drive. Sorry about the hitting the tripod. And this is a Core Master. What's it looks like this is the Core Master 460 watt power supply. As far as I can tell, but it but it accepts four four, but it is a wide range voltage product. So it, so it can accept 110 to 120 volts variable and 220 to 240 volts variable. And, and this out of the way. Boom! The motherboard! An Asus H81MC slash CSM motherboard. That's pretty pristine. Got it off. Got it off. Got it off of new egg and in premium in premium condition. It's a new motherboard, though partly used by me, of course. Got it like a last summer when it, whenever the. Gigabyte G41MT-S2PT motherboard blew up. It cooked out somewhere. So let's get. Oh yeah, don't forget the front panel. Okay, so let's get started. So the system's disconnected right now. Now to make sure you don't blow anything up on your motherboard. Go ahead and put your go ahead and put down something cardboard like the motherboard box. I just simply decided to use the motherboard box since it was like the the cheapest thing to use. So just start getting all your materials down there. Now if you have multiple hard drives in your system, I recommend that you take that you carry them down to your work area one by one. But if it's like a short distance, still. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna be connecting up my actual front panel for this too. And we'll go ahead and set that aside. CD-ROM 
drives, sad cables, and most importantly, the power supply. Got you all know, that stuff down there. Oh yeah, and if you have a fan on your power supply, at least if you have at least one fan on your power supply, please make sure it gets air. So that's why my power supply is going to be set upside down. So that the fan gets air. Now, what I want to do first is to hook up the front panel. Now, sometimes your power buttons and everything will be attached to the case, and you're going to need to manually remove those, or you can jump or, or you can also always jump over the power switch pins on your motherboard which I do not recommend so I'm gonna go and refer to my motherboard manual for hooking up the switches and LEDs on my front panel now I always recommend that you save your motherboard manual. Just skip past that. Okay. Now, if you already know how to hook up your motherboard, go ahead and just hook it up. But, but new motherboard, new experience. So yeah. Now I'm gonna move the tripod here. So that way I can actually get to my, my hot mail. Get up there, power supply. Oh yeah, sorry if the camera's aimed way down low. I don't know why it did that, but it just did. Simple four. Switches and LEDs hooked up. I'm gonna go and hook up the rest of my front panel to my motherboard. Now you might also want to consult your motherboard manual for this step too. Just if you want to 
to know some detailed info about this, about the original story of this computer. Built for, it was built for my mom when her old gateway computer fried out on her. Bad, that was a bad story there. Something cooked the motherboard. It wouldn't even, it wouldn't even turn on. Okay, just got it all, just got my front panel all hooked up. Now, hook up everything else. Power supply. Let's see, mom drive. So go ahead and start hooking up your your components. Oh yeah, and, you, and if you have a dual speed mode, SATA motherboard, connect your hard drive to the six gig to your six gigabytes per second ports and your CD-ROM drives to your three gigabytes per second ports. Or if you have enough ports on your motherboard. Back out of that. So just start hooking up your SATA cables and everything. If you have enough ports, go ahead and connect your CD-ROM drive to SATA 6 gigabytes per second. such as a Linux Windows installation between two different drives, the drive with Linux on, on it, plug into the first SATA port, then put your Windows drive on the next SATA port. Now, go ahead and start making your power supply connections. Never recommend you hook up anything with the power supply plugged in or on because you can do a whole lot of damage by doing that. You can fry, you can fry a lot of things. You can fry your motherboard. You can fry your graphics card. You can even fry your hard drives. And that is not fun. Not fun at all. And 
and pour, and don't forget to make your CPU power connection. Now, now start going. Now go ahead and start hooking up your externals, such as your video, such as hooking up your video cable, key, your keyboard cable, your Ethernet cable if you have one. And I also have a couple of wireless things. Wireless mouse receiver and wireless adapter. And connect your wireless mouse receiver to USB 2.0. All your U all your wireless well your wireless adapter goes on USB 3.0. Make sure your power supply is off if it has a switch before plugging it in. Boom! Just kick the system on. Let's go ahead and give it a go. Kick the monitor in. Kick the speakers in. Yeah. Hit it. Your whole system should fire up. You should get post. Get a post screen. Now if it does that. Just cut the system power. From your power button. And I know what I did wrong here, so I'm going to fix that. Do it. Well, whatever. Hope you like my video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. See you later, and goodbye.